welcome to a fresh episode of Name That Wine. I'm Liz Barrett, and I write a blog called What's in That Bottle.com, and I'm a certified specialist in wine. And I'm Liz's co host, Rob Frisch, writer of the award winning wine blog Oddbacchus.com. And today we're doing viewer questions. Viewer questions! We love answering people's questions. We do. Today, Melissa McElmore Bramhall, who I happen to have gone to college with, hello, Missy, um, comes to us from Houston, I believe, with a question. Some of us get stuck in a rut drinking the same varietal. How about if you like Sauvignon Blanc? Maybe try something else. Oh my goodness. This is such a fun question. I have so many good ideas. I know, hit us. Go. Sauvignon Blanc, first yep. of all. Yep. So what is delightful about Sauvignon Blanc? Juicy, grapefruit acidity. Yes. And it's not usually oak, some, you know, that's. Stainless no. steel, yeah. Yeah, yep. something like Albarino from Spain Yummy. would be lovely. Totally good suggestion. Fresh, bright, juicy. Vermentino. <gasps> from Italy. From the Italian coast, or near Tuscany. Or maybe Corsica even. Corsica, mm -hmm. yes, great. Mm -hmm. So if you like Sauvignon Blanc, try Albarino from Spain or Vermentino from Italy. Yes. Awesome. Excellent. And if you like Chardonnay, which many, many people do, we have some awesome suggestions because I love Chardonnay, but guess what I also love for sort of the same reasons? Viognier. I noticed that sometimes you mix them up <laughs> in the wine tasting. I mix them up. <laughs> so that's obviously a Viognier good Viognier has switch. like that same weightiness, that richness. Yes, the heft. And it might be a little more floral sometimes, but that's like a nice little accent. And also my other favy is um, Roussan or Marsan from the Northern Rhone. Yes, oh. Rhone white blend. Yes. Beautiful. But you can Gorgeous. find them like California makes them some awesome Marsan, Roussan like single blend. That's true. Yeah. 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 Especially down like Central Coast. Mm -hmm. Really yummy. Um, Pinot Noir. What if you love Pinot Noir and you're like, oh, yawn. I cannot drink another glass of Pinot Noir. Who is saying that? I know. Nobody. But what if they are? Hmm. hmm. Beaujolais. Oh, Beaujolais. Beaujolais. Yeah. Maybe not like the heftiest Beaujolais, but right. like a Beaujolais Village, for a example. A Village, which is the Gamay grape. It's a lighter, easy drinking red. Yeah. Blau Frankisch from Germany. Blau Frankisch would be great from Germany or, you know, Austria has yep. some beautiful Blau yep. Frankisches with also that kind of, there's that sort of earthy, peppery note. Yeah. And it's lightweight though, it's light bodied. Yes. Which can be delightful. I think those are got good options. Merlot. What, what about I, Merlot? Oh, I was gonna say cat. Well, they're both like sort of big reds. Big reds. I mean, Merlot is softer, so I was gonna, yes. I would say Grenache or, gar, or Garnacha from Spain. Yes, Grenache from France. Garnacha from Spain. Or Garnacha from Spain. Awesome. Love those. Love those. And I think, like, if you want. Something like Cab that has like the weight, I would say like more Ved. Yes, or Monastrel from Spain. Same grape, different name. Because <laughs> they like to do that to us, the mm -hmm. wine people. Just or there's something called a GSM, which is a Grenache, Syrah, Morved blend. Yes, I love GSM blends. I do too. Also from the Rhone Valley originally, but now made frequently in right. California as yeah. well. Perhaps even you've Syrah. heard of Rhone I mean, Rangers. I cracked open a bottle of Syrah the other night that, and I had, I like over Syrah a couple of years ago and I opened a bottle the other night and it was divine. It was big and rich and juicy. Um, it was a California, like a Russian River Valley. But I think if you like a big red, like a Cabernet, especially a California Cabernet that made have a lot of oak on it, I think like a GSM or a Syrah could be fun. What about a Nero Davola? Oh, from Sicily. Yeah. That's a good one. Something that's hearty and yeah. rich. And, or, a, or a, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, or a um, Chateau Neuf du Pop. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, also from the Rhone. <clears throat> Tempranillo. Oh, that's another really good one. Priorat from Spain is another. Especially Tempranillo. if you like oakier reds, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. mm. Rioja. Rioja. We could go on forever, as you can tell. Hopefully, this inspires you to uh, seek out something new. The next time you're looking at you're like, oh, hello, Pinot Noir, what's new lately? You know, and you can just go to your wine shop and say, hey, yeah. wine shop person, I like this kind of wine, but I want to try something new, but not too new. <laughs> what's like that? And then they'll steer you in the right direction. Ba-bam! Ba-boom! All right. Here's to you, Missy. Cheers!